Um, obviously not the, the outcome uh, that we had expected or, or prepared for. Um, great college football environment. Winning on the road is, is really, really hard. And, um, you know, felt good about where we were in the first half. You know, I thought our guys were flying around. They um, made a bunch of plays. I thought our defense, um, you know, was doing what was necessary. Um, obviously really disappointed in the, the red zone execution uh, on offense to, to put the ball in the end zone. Um, and then uh, obviously in the, in the second half, um, you know, their, their quarterback had a great game, made a lot of plays. Um, you know, the game went a bit differently than, than we had thought on that side of the ball. You know, we, we thought that, um, you know, they, they would try to protect him a little bit and, and, um, and run the ball. And I thought we, we played the, the run game pretty well. But uh, when he get, got out of the pocket, you know, he's, he's a tough guy to, to catch up to and, and get down on the ground and then made some unbelievable throws. And, uh, you know, hats off. I mean, this is um, um, he, he played a great game and, and their, their defense uh, obviously, I mean, it's the best defense in our conference for a reason. Uh, those, those stats um, that they had coming into this game, those, those weren't an aberration. Um, I mean, that, that's a really, really good defense with uh, a bunch of seniors in the secondary and uh, as good a defensive tackle as we'll play. And um, we did not uh, play to the level that, that we had expected on that side of the ball. Uh, Cade Brewer. Uh, left the game, did not return, uh, got rolled up on his ankle. Uh, he'll have an, an MRI tomorrow. Uh, and then our punter, Ryan Bichewski, uh broke his clavicle. Uh, he'll have surgery uh, tomorrow. Questions? Clav clavicle. clavicle, yeah. Shoulder, uh, collarbone. Yeah, I mean, when he missed a practice and, and team activities on Tuesday, so, um, you know, barring injury on, on uh, you know, it, it would have been, um, we did the right thing by traveling him, obviously, you know, he, he fully part participated on, on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, um, but uh, the, the right thing to do when, when you miss a practice around here is, is, um, is not going the game. We're not good, um, and, and we need to be better. Uh, you know, I, I think you know the off week will help. Uh, we've got to do um, a better job as coaches. The guys that are out there, we got to we got to get them ready to play. We got to make plays and, and put them in position to do so. Um, but you know, the expectation. Uh, from our medical staff is to have, you know, uh, BJ, DeMarvion, and um, Caden all all back for uh, the week after the bye week. So, you know, having that experience um, and depth uh, will, will certainly help in, in the back end. And uh, But, again, we, we just, I mean, Malcolm uh, told the team, Malcolm Roach, you know, um, this is not going to uh, – you know, we got to come together and we got to fight. And the only way, when, when you're, when you're in a hole like this, um, you know, the the only way to get out of it is to fight and to work harder. Uh, these things don't happen by calling magic defenses or, or magic offenses. They 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 um, they happen by coming to work every day as coaches, giving everything uh, we have to our players. Um, Teaching them, putting them in the in the right position to make plays, and um, I, I thought it was great. Uh, you know, and I, I I told them. I mean, we we, um, you know, if you need any example of a team coming together um, after two straight losses, look no further than last year's team. A lot of a lot of these guys were a part of that. Um, we have not lost two straight. We've lost a game, and um, we've we've got. An, open date uh, to get back to the basics, get back to fundamentals, find out what we can do and who we're going to be doing it with. And um, 
and the only thing to do is improve. Yeah, hats off to him, um, their coaching staff. Uh, you're right, you know, we, we, um, we went in and, and we were going to play a lot of our, um, you know, drop eight, trap corner, um, you know, kind of stuff the run from the inside out. And uh, when it's passed, um, you know, have eight guys in coverage. And um, when he did throw the football, he, he found – some pretty tight seams. Uh, obviously, his receivers made some big time plays for him. Um, and then, you know, he he ran around. We, you know, we didn't we didn't contain him near like um, we could have or that we thought thought we could have. How much was Sam forcing things? How much was it just that they? I don't know. You know, um, you know the 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 first interception. You, you know the. Uh, Receiver and him were not on the same page, uh, and obviously the last one was fourth down. I mean, the ball's got to come out of your hand, um, and I'm, I'm trying to think of the two in between. I mean, the guy on the sideline with Jared Wiley, you know, there on a scramble drill, made a made an unbelievable play, and then um, I can't remember what the other one was, but um, no, I, I mean. That, that guy, I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter, uh, you know, to him. I mean, he's going to go out and play his game. And, um, you know, he was off a little bit, certainly. Uh, but, but he's the epitome of what Malcolm talked about. You know, when you're in a rut, when, you, when you're down, um, you're going to fight, scratch, and claw. And, and, you know, he brought us within three points with five and a half minutes or whatever it was to go. And, um, you know, we just we couldn't get off the field. Coach, I know there's, there's been injuries, obviously, and then, of course, the lack of execution. But how much are you putting this on the staff of, of as far as the accountability portion of this concern? As much as we always do when, when we lose, you know. Um, uh, we, we've got a saying in our program, it's, it's not that kid, it's that coach, you know. And, and um, you know, if they're not um, – playing at the level uh, that we need them to play, then one, they don't understand it. Two, um, two, maybe, you know, we've, we've got, we've chosen the wrong guy to be out there. And, um, you know, so it's our job to coach the guys that we're going to play out there uh, to make the plays necessary. Uh, so, um, yeah, I mean, that, that hasn't changed around here, this game compared to any of them. Tom, along those lines, I need to ask this. Has anything happened in the last month that has shaken your faith in T.O.? No, no. Feel good about the strategy and what's going on out there schematically? And no. No, you don't or no problem? No, I, I don't feel good about it, but um, the – the two are not related, the two questions, I don't believe. How difficult for those, those squandered opportunities in the first half on the road, especially? Yeah. What's that? When you all took over on the 20 and the 42 and didn't come away with any points, how difficult? Yeah, that was, um, that was big. I don't know which one was the, the missed field goal, and I'm, I'm not sure. Taking over on the forty, what happened at the at the end of that? But um, yeah, we've been so good at scoring touchdowns in the red zone for for three years here, and um, you know credit to their defense. Um, uh, again, they didn't do anything cosmic, um, and uh, we, we've got to really analyze um, you know where we could have gotten better down there in the red zone to punch the ball um, in the end zone. Yeah, I, I didn't know that. Um, I, I do know they're playing pretty good right now. They, um, you know, beaten TCU last week. Um, 
I, I don't expect anything other than, than what Malcolm said. Um, you know, I know the older guys, certainly um, it's ingrained in them that the, the, the only thing to do in, in times like this is to come together, not, um, you know, scatter like rats, if you will, on a ship um, and, and fight. And again, there, there, there's nobody in the program that has, including myself, our coaches, any player, uh, any support staff member, we've, we've all got more. We can all give more. Um, the, the, the human potential is never tapped out. Um, and so our charge is, is going to be making sure that, um, you know, the, the young guys follow suit. There's a lot of them playing right now um, that are, that are going to be down in the dumps by their performance and certainly by the outcome. Uh, but um, that's our job as coaches and teachers and mentors uh, and our, our leader's job to, to teach them uh, educate them on on how to respond to um, you know very adverse situations like this um, but you know we, we've got a, a lot of football left ahead of us and like I said we, we've got um, an opportunity to heal uh, emotionally certainly physically um, and then mentally you know we like you said just a mindset we, we've got to um, figure out um, who we are, and I, I don't. There's not a coach on the staff that's that's going to allow any kind of, of wallowing or uh, uh, you know self pity. And the really cool thing is, I, I think our leaders and and our older guys um, are at the forefront of that. It's not. I mean, um, I don't. I don't know what last year has to do with anything. But um, you know, all, every time you lose, um, you, you invest so much into each week, into each off season, into to all of the training, and, and when you don't perform um, at your best, um, you know, you're disappointed. And but there's no. I mean, there's, there's no setback. There, there it's. We, we got to push forward. We got to figure out what we did wrong. Uh, we got to figure out what we did wrong in preparation. Uh, we got to get guys healthy, and you know, we, like Malcolm said, we got we got to we got to work and um, and you know, try a, as as best we can to uh, reach our human potential of, of work capacity. And uh, I got to. A great feeling our guys, uh, you know, after letting this one sting a little bit, will be excited to go back to work. Thanks, coach.